friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Okay, you guys are gonna come along with me today as I get stuff done. First, we're gonna drop off all this stuff at the DI. Here we have it. Lots of Christmas, a few Halloween things, but it's got the back of my van full. So I'm gonna meet Derek for lunch, so before I go get him, I'm gonna drop all this off. All right, I need to go find a box to fit all these warmers in. I took my mom to the Sensational Outlet in Provo, so we've got four warm, five warmers, counting this one, to mail out. So I'm gonna go look for a box, and I'll hit the post office after my lunch with Derek. take this to the post office for her and she'll have her warmers for her and whoever else she's passing them out to. Lucky ducks. We're off to the DI and then we're gonna go grab Derek for lunch and then the post office. That is there. <laughs> now my trunk is empty for round two with stuff in the basement. This will be good. Now let's go get my man for some lunch. Derek and I tried to see each other for lunch every once in a while. Wanted to take Derek out to lunch today because he's feeling a little blue. A co-worker he's worked with, I think over 15 years, passed away early this morning. He went and saw him last night at the hospital, so. Everyone's feeling a little blue right now, and I thought I'd cheer him up. Okay, I'm here just a few minutes early, and he's just finishing up a meeting, so I thought we could chat while he is finishing doing his thing. My parents have been here, as you know, and they are leaving. Well, by the time you see this, they're gone. And it has been such a great time having them here. Like, such a great time. The kids have just, were able to bond with them more. And it's just been so good. It has been so good. My, They were such a help, helping with the food room, helping with the kids, and Grampy was so great to help us with homework, and, and just like, ah, oh, they've been so fun and such a big help. Vlogging, let's talk about my schedule. I have really liked the schedule of Sunday, Thursday lately. I really love it, and this is what I'm gonna strive to do. I'm gonna strive to do one dedicated video toward a topic like cooking freezer meals in its own niche like that and then another day will be uh, a day in the life and so this is what i've been working on and i'm liking it i want to put out not just so much more like more videos the videos that i put out i want them to be good quality i want them to be fun i want them to be interesting i want you to leave Feeling like, feeling like the, that 20 minutes or whatever it was was worth your time and you were able to take something away from it. And so that is my schedule. So, which is working out because it's just, I'm able to balance being a work at home mom and a mom and a wife better that way. I'm gonna be staying around in this area because I'm gonna have to come back and pick up Callie from work. I'll be sticking around here. I'll go to the post office and then go get her. And then for dinner tonight, I think I'm making chicken orzo soup. That just sounds so good. And it's cold and it, that just sounds so good. So I, I, I feel good today. I made myself, you know, yes, I was going to Shady School for this morning, but I mean, I could have thrown my hair up in a messy bun and called it good, but I was like, nope. I got up, forced myself to get ready, curled my hair did the whole makeup thing and I'm like, let's get moving. Am I still tired today? Yeah, I'm really tired today. And I know a lot of this has to do with my diet and I'm trying to clean up my diet. Um, it's just been bananas and 
trying to get back into the swing of things and having family here doesn't help you know we're like Ooh, let's go do this and eat this and oh my word so my goal was to try to lose some weight before uh, a trip our family is taking in a couple of weeks but that's not gonna happen because on this trip that we're going um, we're going to Disneyland uh, yeah I plan on eating like all the things all the things so I'm not even gonna worry <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about what I'm consuming right now until after the park so I'm not going to be taking you guys to Disney with me. Mm, if you want to see what we're doing at Disneyland or some of the fun things we're eating, you're going to have to follow me on Instagram. If you follow me on Facebook and not Instagram, I do link a lot of things from Instagram over to Facebook. But follow me on Instagram because that's where all that is going to be. So. Hey. Hey. Wanna go to lunch? I wanna go to lunch. Let's go to lunch. Okay, um, now that I'm home, I'm starting on the chicken orzo soup for dinner. I'm just sauteing up some onions, carrots, and celery. And while this is doing its thing, I'm gonna shred the rotisserie chicken. So I ran to Walmart the other morning and grabbed a few groceries and I grabbed this rotisserie chicken. It's flavored buttery garlic. And I already ate a leg off of it because it was hot and delicious. So now I'm just going to shred this up. Chicken orzo soup. I love making this stuff. Even when we're healthy and feeling good, it's just so comforting. Whenever I have leftover chicken, I make this. I love using rotisserie chickens in the soup because the flavor in them is amazing. Paige is like, please drop a piece of chicken for me. <laughs> All right, there's lots more chicken on here. I'm going to save this for later. We're going to do more with this. All right, look at all that chicken. Woohoo! All right. All right, I made a, it's hard to see guys, sorry, but I made a roux with butter and flour. Now I'm putting a whole quart of chicken stock in but I'm gonna thicken it a little with what I have in there and then I'm gonna probably add two boxes so two quarts and then I'm gonna add the veggies back in because I took them out and then we'll add the chicken and then when I get back from tutoring we'll add the pasta okay all the herbs are in there the chicken and the veggies I'm just gonna simmer this on low and then when I get home, we will put the pasta in. Leftovers. I'm not gonna put this in the freezer because the orzo pasta is in here and it'll just get really mushy when you thaw it out and reheat it again. So this will stay in the refrigerator for leftovers for the next few days.
playing Cover Your Assets. Ooh, so okay. fun. Uh, get it. Somebody's got to take this off the stack. Okay, I'm mixing up some blueberry muffin mix that I had down in my food room. And I'm gonna make the kids blueberry muffins for the morning. Just something super quick and easy. up here we were playing when we were playing cover your assets Kelly was so cold and Derek said you can go turn the thermometer up two degrees she did more than two degrees it's freaking hot I always do a load of laundry in the morning as part of my morning routine and I always do a load of laundry before bed and bed is usually um, everything that people need clean for tomorrow. So I've got some of the kids' clothes to get going in the wash. 